Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on New Life in Christ. God promised in Ezekiel 36.26 that He gives a new heart and put a new spirit within us. New heart here refers to new inner life. New life in Christ is often spoken as born again life. When we believe in the finished work of Christ on the cross, repent from our old ways, confess our sins and make a conscious decision to follow Christ, we are born again spiritually. It is an act of God whereby eternal life is imparted to the person who believes. Our new life imparted us numerous spiritual blessings and privileges. We got a new life of holiness, obedience, surrender and love for God. We have a new destination because of our new life. We are given eternal life and an inheritance along with Christ in heavenly places. New life brought us a new relationship with God. We are no longer under condemnation and wrath of God. In our new life, we delight in the things of God and hate the things of the world and of the flesh. How we look at the world and the people changes. Our new life hates the sin that still has a hold on us. The separation and enmity between us and God is removed. We are reconciled to Him and became members of the body of Christ. From Ephesians 2.10, we understand that we are His creation, new creation created in Christ Jesus. In Colossians 1st chapter, we read that God has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. We are reconciled by Christ's physical body to present us holy in His sight without blemish and free from accusation. This reveals the process and the purpose of our new life. In Romans 8.29, we are told that we are chosen to be conformed to the likeness of Jesus Christ. The new life looks outwardly toward Christ instead of inwardly toward self. 2 Corinthians 5.17 reads us, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, all things have become new. We can't have a new life and hang on with our old ways. New life refers to putting off old nature and its desires. It is removing pride, love of sin and sinful habits. In Colossians 3.5, we are advised to put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within us. We have to put off immorality, impurity, lust, greed, anger, and evil desires. There must be an external evidence that proves that there has been an inner transformation. New life would have to bring us a change in attitude towards the things of the world and towards the things related to God. Being a follower of Jesus Christ is not just one among many different aspects of our daily life. We should be striving every day to be a better follower, becoming more like Jesus in our thoughts, words and actions. May God enable us to strive to let every detail of our life to represent Jesus through our desire, purpose, thoughts, words, actions, and relationships. Thank you for listening. May God bless you.